Good morning, welcome to my channel where we break down some challenges we face in the classroom, especially when it comes to technology. If you clicked on this video, you're probably considering creating your very own Jeopardy style game in Google Slides. As you know, Jeopardy style games can be a really fun way to review your content with your students and they're a great test prep activity. You might be really excited about the idea of creating your very own Jeopardy style game in Google Slides, or you might be a little worried about it. Either way, I'm gonna share some simple steps with you on how to create your own Jeopardy style game in Google Slides. I will have linked in the description below a step-by-step -step guide, so you don't have to worry about taking notes. You can just refer to that after you watch the video. There will also be a link to a generic template and a digital planning workbook that will make this process a lot easier for you to get started. Also in the description are timestamps, so if you're looking for something specific, you can jump right to it. Now, let's get started. Now, before we jump right into the techie stuff, I want to remind you that you need to go ahead and do some planning before you just start creating. You'll need to know how many categories you want and how many points. Plus, you'll want to have your prompts and your answer keys already on hand. To help you out with this planning process, I created a free digital planning workbook that's linked in the description below. It'll make this process super easy because then you can just copy and paste your prompts into your, your game. So now I'm going to switch over to my screen and show you the how to's. But remember, you'll have to have some of these things already planned before you start creating. So let's get started. So this is the completed game board. So I'm going to take the next few minutes to show you how we got here. Remember, I have a downloadable step-by-step -step guide for you in the description and a link to a digital planning workbook that will help you get these things going. So first, we're going to start with a blank Google Slides. So I'm going to open a new tab. Slides.new is going to open a blank Google Slides. And I'm going to go ahead and X out the themes because I don't need that. I'm going to give it a title and now what we need to do is we need to clear everything out because we just need a blank slide. So I'm going to just click and drag over these and hit delete or backspace, make that disappear. So first we're going to do the game board slide, which is going to be this slide here, and then we'll move on and do these. So for the game board slide, first, you need to choose a background if you want to. If you want to leave it white, that's totally fine. I'm going to go ahead and do a background very quickly. Once you've chosen your background, make sure you click Add to Theme and done. Okay, so next is putting in our categories. So our categories are these up here. So to do that, you're going to <clears throat> insert a shape and we're going to do the rounded rectangle, which is the second one. And you're just going to click and drag and I'm going to go ahead and change it to white and I'm going to adjust the border color and the border weight. I want it to be a little bit heavier. So now in order to type inside of your shape, all you have to do is double click and we can start typing. So I'm just going to do history and what we want to do to make things a lot easier is go ahead and format this shape exactly how you want it and then you can copy and paste so that you only have to do it once. So I'm going to highlight this and change my font style. For this part, do whatever works for you. So this is good. So now I'm going to do history, copy, paste, whoops, and we're just going to drag it. Then I can copy paste two at a time. And then now I just want one more here. Okay, so here's a pro tip. So as you can see, my stuff may not be lined up all the way and those little things really bother me. So I'm going to highlight all of these to select them all. And we're going to go to Arrange, Align. And so first I want to align them all at the top to make sure they're all even that way. And now we're going to align and distribute 
horizontally. So now you see that they shifted a little bit. Now they are perfectly evenly spaced. So now I'll go in and change the text here. So I'm going to do history 1800s to World War One, and I'm going to make these a little smaller. Okay, now that we have all the categories, next is our point values, which are these guys here. So this is where you have to determine how many points you want to have. Sometimes I'll go 10 through 50, sometimes just 10 through 30, just depending on how big the unit is and how many questions I want to have. So when you're thinking about your category numbers, keep in mind that each one of those has to be a question. So if you're viewing a unit that is kind of small or doesn't have very many questions, then don't do 10 to 50, 10 to 40, maybe do 10 to 30 or even 10 to 20. So I'm just going to do the same as I did the last time, 10 to 40. So again, you're going to insert the shape. And for this, I'm just going to copy and paste, and then I'm going to format it to be different. So I'm actually going to copy all of these and paste, and I'm just going to drag them right under there because I know they're already distributed evenly and they are aligned perfectly. Okay, so now I'm just going to change this. To 10 but I want it to be black and white I want it to be um, reversed here so I'm going to change the text color to white and the fill color to black okay so what I did there was I clicked on this and this is a copy format button so what is going to happen is it's going to copy the format of this shape and when I click on this new shape it's going to copy it so I can do the paint format and then click on this one and now paint format click on this one and here so now we only have to do it once nope that should be 10 now we're going to copy and paste Okay, now I'm going to take a second and adjust all of these. Okay, this one is finished. So the linking is going to happen at the very end. So right now I can't link any of these buttons to anything because I don't have any other slides. So we're going to move on from this slide and then we're going to have to circle back around to it when we finish the others. So now I need you to insert a blank slide. So we're going to go to this little drop down and select blank. And we need to make sure we have the category we have the category and the point at the top and we have a text box in the middle and then a check answer button at the bottom. So for this, I'm just going to copy and paste, nope. select both of these, control C, control V, and I'm going to move him over here. So now we're going to insert a box for our prompt. So for this one, we're going to do shape and this first one, and we're going to leave some space at the bottom for our check answer button. So for the fill of this, I want it to be semi-transparent. So I'm going to choose white and then I'm going to go back and do custom. And this is a transparency slider here. So I'm going to drag this down some. So now it's a little bit transparent and I want the border to be a little bit darker and a little bit heavier. Okay, so now again, we're just gonna double click to start typing. And this is where you wanna have your prompts already done. So if you're using the digital planning workbook, you could just copy and paste directly from there. I'm gonna just copy and paste from here, there. So there's my prompt which cattle trail led farmers across the Arkansas River and through Native American territory. So now I need my check answer button. So again, we're gonna to go to shapes, rounded rectangle this time, and drop it here in the bottom. And I want this to be a darker red. 
um, probably no line and my text is going to be white and this sort of header here. Okay, so I want to center align it. Go ahead and format it however you need to. So now we need the answer slide. So again, we're gonna come back and link everything um, in just a second. So right now, none of the buttons are going to work and that's okay, we'll come back to it. So to make this process a thousand times easier, here is your trick. If you come and select this slide on the sidebar, it'll turn orange edges. So that's how you know that one's selected. And then hit Control D and it's going to duplicate that slide. Now you can also right click and duplicate. So now we have two identical slides, which is great because now all I have to do is come in here and type my answer. So my answer is the Chisholm Trail. So I'm gonna copy that. And again, if you're using that, um, the digital planning worksheet, then you can just copy and paste it from there. So I would recommend your answer being a different color and a larger size. So as you can see here, I chose red font and I made it a little bit larger than my question, just so it's a visual cue, it just stands out a little easier. Now we have to change check answer to game board because we want to be able to click back to our game board instantly. We're ready to link these two slides together. So what we'll do is we're gonna link these two slides together and then we're going to duplicate them until we have all of our questions done and then at the very end we'll come back and link everything to the game board slide. So the game board links are gonna be absolutely last. So let's go ahead and link these two together. So check answer. You're going to click on the button, make sure its edges are blue. As you can see right here, that means you know it's selected. Control K, slides in this presentation, and we need slide three, but as you can see, it's cut off and it won't let me scroll. So what we're gonna have to do is zoom out. So here's a magnifying glass, and we're going to zoom out, whoops, let's zoom out to 50. Okay. All right, so now let's try it again. Slides in this presentation. There we go, slide three, apply. All right, so now we're gonna do the same thing over here. Click on your game board button, control K, slides in this presentation, except this time we're going to do first slide or slide one. Slide one, apply. Okay, let's check it, we'll click present and this should go to the answer key and this should go to the game board and it works. Here comes the easy part. So now that we have these two prompts and answer keys formatted how we want, we're just gonna duplicate both of these over and over until we have enough questions. So I'm only going to walk you through um, one more set and you'll have the step-by-step -step guide, so don't worry about it, but I'm only gonna watch you, walk you through one more set of this, and then we'll go ahead and link through just to save time for the video. So to duplicate these, we need to make sure that you duplicate both of these at the same time. So click here, hold Control, and click the second one. So now both of these are orange. Control D, duplicate, and now we have those two. So the beauty of this is watch, when we go to slide four, look where it's linked to slide five. Slide five, look where it's linked to slide one. So this, when you duplicate them together, your check answer button will automatically link to the next slide that's available. So that's why it's important that you link them, sorry, that's why it's important that you duplicate them at the same time so that your links will hold. And so now you don't have to hyperlink anything until you're ready to hyperlink the game board. All you have to do now is change your prompt. Now you would go ahead and type in your new question and new question, you would just paste those twice, answer, okay? So now that those are finished, we're gonna pretend that you went ahead and went through and did all 50 or all 40 of those questions. Now we're gonna come back here. This linking process is gonna happen the same way that we did those other ones but you just have to be careful. So first, I forgot to change these to 
20. So these are the same category, but they are question point 20. Okay, so here we go. We're going to start with the first one. Click on your shape until it has blue edges. Control K. Slides in this presentation. So look here, you're going to need slide two. Apply. Same category 20. Control K. Slides in this presentation. Now we need slide four because that's right here, that's the new question. Apply. And we're gonna check it. So when we hit present, these two buttons should work. So if I click on 20, it should go to the new question. Check answer, game board, those work. We'll go to the first category, check answer, game board, and those all work as well. Jeopardy style games are a really fun way to gamify your review time. They can be a little cumbersome to create at first, but like with most things, once you get the hang of it, you'll become really fast and it won't be as scary. Remember in the description below, I have links to a generic sample and the digital planning workbook and the step-by-step -step guide. So be sure to look at those before you leave. Now, I wanna hear from you. What do you plan on using your Jeopardy style review game for? Leave that in the comments below or post them on Instagram and tag me at Sarah Miller Tech. I'd love to hear from you. See you next time.